Good morning. This is Russ and Kitty Walden with Father's Heart Ministry, and this is the Daily Prophetic Word. Now, what do we mean when we say the word prophetic? The prophetic is about hearing God's voice and sharing what you hear for your benefit and the benefit of others. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 20 says, if you believe the prophets, so shall you prosper. If we're going to believe a prophet, we must know who the prophet is in your life. Who is the prophet in your life? If you don't know, it's because you don't have one. And if you don't have one, then you're not the beneficiary of what Second Chronicles 20.20 is talking about. There is a prosperity that God brings into the life of a believer when he has a proper relationship, an accountability relationship with a prophet, someone who's called in one of the five ministries that Jesus talked about in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. God has called my wife Kitty and I to be advocates of the prophetic, to say to you, if we need a pastor, then we also need a prophet. If you met a believer, if you met a Christian who loved the Lord but didn't feel a need in his life to have a pastor, you would think, well, he, he loves God, but that might be a need in his life at some time. He may need to have, there may come a point in his life that he needs pastoral oversight, and that's just common understanding. What's interesting to note is 500 years ago when Martin Luther brought us out of the infrastructure of the Church of the Middle Ages, he the, the idea of a pastor was a new concept. Well, what do I need a pastor for? They could have asked Luther, I have a priest, what do I need a pastor for? And Luther insisted, and Luther brought forth and established what was then the controversial concept that we need a pastor. Well, even as we need pastors, we also need prophets. When Ephesians 4, 11 and 12 talks about apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, it does not say these four are optional like a sunroof, but a pastor is like a steering wheel. You have to have them. No, they're all listed the same. Therefore, what's true of pastoral ministry is also true of all the other ministries. If we need a pastor, we need a prophet. And if we don't have a prophet, and we understand from Second Chronicles 20.20 20, that the prophet is about seeing prosperity come to your life, then there's something lacking that God intends for you to have. So I ask you again, who is the prophet in your life? If you don't know, it's because you don't have one. So I invite you to go to propheticnow.com and expose yourself to the prophetic resources there. God has tasked my wife Kitty and I to raise up a relevant prophetic generation. The Father says today that learning to overcome is the most basic lesson in the kingdom. The first thing you must learn to overcome, says the Father, is yourself. When you learn to overcome yourself, the enemy doesn't even show up for the fight. You do understand that I have abundance and the enemy has a plan based on limited resources. I have abundance and the enemy's on a budget. This is why the enemy's biggest tactic is to intimidate you and keep you from showing up for the fight in the first place. This is the good fight of faith. The only good thing about any fight, beloved, is the fight you win. There is nothing good about losing. That is why there, are, there is no losing in the kingdom. You are not a loser. Therefore, you are not destined to lose. When the enemy sees you, he will give up the fight because he knows he doesn't have enough fear, intimidation, or terror to match the confidence that you have in me. So just show up, says the Father. Show up and be ready, not to fight each other, but to mop up what I finished in the resurrection. Your weaponry and your armament come from the resurrection side of things, says the Father, not the human side of things. You are human, yes, but you are not merely human. You are imbued with power from on high that originates in my throne. 
That is why fighting each other is such a waste of time. Neither have I called you to fight the world. I died for the world. I gave my life for the world. Heaven's best was laid out as a slain lamb for the world. So realize that you are not called to resist the world. The resistance you are laying down is upon the losing team. The domain of darkness that doesn't have the wisdom to quit the field in the aftermath of Calvary. So go forth today, says the Father. Do not be intimidated or dismayed. I am standing with you as the Lord of Sabaoth. I am the God of hosts. And as you stand with me, so I stand with you and will cause you to overcome in all things. Now, maybe you would like to have one-on-one -on -one ministry. If you go to propheticnow.com, you can request a pastoral call, a phone call. And perhaps you would like to receive prophetic counseling. Prophetic counseling is an intensive prophetic encounter that will change your life. Uh, maybe you had a dream last night and you think God was talking to you and you want some help with that. You can request prophetic dream interpretation. You can ask for a prophetic word from our team and we'll send out a prophetic word to you, a prophecy over your life. It's all about bringing all of the components of prophetic influence into your life for that singular purpose that God intends, that you prosper, that you overcome, and that you excel and come into the destiny that God has set for your life. Go ahead, visit us at propheticnow.com. Have a great day.